Hey guys, it's Courtney, and today we are here to do a Old Saw haul for December, which is exciting because it was my birthday month, so I got double points on everything. And if you haven't, you should definitely sign up for all the rewards because you get cool stuff eventually when you get enough rewards. It's very exciting. So we're just going to dive right in like normal. I'm going to show you what I got and try to swatch some of them, and we're just going to see what happens. The first thing that's really cool if you order from Ulta online is they send you free samples every time and you can pick like fragrance, a variety, or skincare I think. And so this time I got samples of the Smashbox Photo Finish, whoa, hey, sorry, um, and the, uh, oh god, I don't know, is this Benefit that has, yeah. So I, and I also got the Benefit, the Professional, um, to try a little sample of it. So that's always really exciting and I like that one. The next thing I got, which um, clearly you can see it has been used, all of these have been used, um, which is why this took so long to film and post because I wanted to actually have thoughts about these products before I talk about them. And so this is the CoverGirl Outlast 3 in 1, sorry, there's like some kind of sun happening right now and it wasn't there 10 minutes ago, so exciting. Anyway. This is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Outlast Stay Fabulous uh, Foundation, and it's in number 825, Buff Beige. It's on my facialer area right now, and I do like it. It's um, It kind of has a funny smell. I don't like that. That's weird to me. And once it oxidizes, um, like on my face, it turns kind of orange, so potentially I just don't have the right shade, which is always my problem always the problem um but yeah it's supposed to have long lasting all day flawless coverage um lasting power of primer coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one and it's supposed to be shine free so i don't know if i just have really oily skin or potentially this is just not good for oily skin or like combination skin but i have problems with this being shiny at the end of the day or within like eight hours, seven hours, six hours, like the whole day isn't gone yet, or even, I mean maybe I'm asking too much, I don't know, I plan to time it out today though and actually get a solid number of when it starts to get funky, and I'll let you know, so there's that, let me know if you guys have used this down below and if you like it, um, Leanne says uses this all the time, this is like one of her favorites and that's why I picked it up, because YouTube made me buy it, oh. The next thing is also from CoverGirl um, because they were doing buy one get one half off or something. This is the CoverGirl Lip Lava and it's a lip gloss that is this really pretty purple color. I'm going to try this water for you. The brush is like a weird nail polish brush and it's really funky and I don't really like it. But what can you do? So this gloss on its own, I've worn it a couple times and it's right here. It is incredibly pigmented. It's really purple. It's super pretty on. It looks really, um, like you can see the shimmers in it when you're wearing it. It's really, really, really sticky. Um, and just because I don't think I said it, this is number 860 in Lava Ender. So it's a, like Lavender. Lava Ender. Get it? <laughs> okay. It's funny. Anyway. Um, and, but it's really sticky. It's kind of a bummer. I got all over the place because it was in my hair and then my hair touched my face and I put glitter everywhere. Um, it kind of mats down after a while, but not really. But it loses a lot of its stickiness after a while or if you like pat it. Like I took a Kleenex and just kind of like patted it and it like kind of helped, but not really. I don't know. Let me know you guys down below. Um, they have other colors of this like gold and pink and different things and I'm kind of, I kind of want to try the gold one. That be embarrassing. The next thing was my free birthday gift. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Birthday Babe because it was for birthdays, obviously. They have, if you guys haven't used these before, they have a really cute like doe foot applicator and um I don't know, it goes on really easy. It smells good too. It smells like I don't think they make these anymore, which is kind of a bummer, I guess. The CoverGirl used to have these mint 
glosses like this and that's what this reminds me of um so this is the color right here it's a really pretty like peachy color and i don't know i've worn it a couple times uh, if you guys are on my instagram you can see it and i don't really like it it smells amazing it is a gloss so obviously it's not my favorite thing it's kind of sticky because it's a gloss i don't know i'm like on the fence with gloss i don't think i like it but i like how it looks but then i touch it or my hair touches it and i hate it <sighs> you guys feel me i'm just so torn moving on oh god the next thing is an Essie polish that was on sale and I know why now. This is number 894 Brides to Be and it's on my thumb, but you guys can't see it because it's legitimately nude. It's really not opaque, which I was kind of bummed um, about, but if you do two coats of it, it'd be a really good bottom coat for like a French tip or something, or like if you did like some kind of colored tip. Um, because mine, I don't know about you guys, but my nails are kind of like discolored underneath. Like, I have like weird colors and things happening. But that would work for this, so that's kind of why I picked it up. And for that, I think it'll work really good, but not for just on its own, which is kind of a bummer. But I'm expanding my Essie Polish collection slowly. Really slowly. I have like three, I think. Get up there. Next thing. The next two things are from Revlon. They are both the birds, they're so hard. They're both from the Super Lustrous lipstick line. Um, the first one is number 477 Black Cherry, and this is on my face right now. And these are actually both cream lipsticks, if that matters to anyone. And even though this is already on my face, I'm gonna swatch it for you anyway because it looks different on my hand. So this is Black Cherry right here, and these are really comfortable to wear if you guys have any of these. They are really pigmented, um, I don't know, I really like this line, I guess. And they were half off when I got them, so I got a really good deal on the website. And the other color I have is 663, which is Ba Ba Violet, and I actually featured this in my December favorite um, video, which will be linked down below. And in a card if I get my life together and this one's a little more sheer oh my god freaking sparkly gloss on the tube <laughs> anyway sorry this one's a little more sheer as you guys can kind of tell but it looks really pretty on and I have I have it on in that video if you guys want to look at it actually on my face I don't know but I like both of these a lot and I have one other so Ulta was doing a buy one get one half off or buy one get one free mark. Yes, of Ulta products I think they're still doing it I have no idea so the two things the first two things I got was I got their um, automatic eyeliner and this is the color Starlit let me swatch it for you real quick and this is a silver obviously you can tell by the packaging um, but I got it because I use silver in my waterline Ooh, I totally just broke that I meant to do that you guys um, I use silver in my waterline a lot legitimately every day actually and um, I was looking the one I have is really old and I'm trying to replace it but sadly this will not be the one to replace it so that is right here and it's in the color starlet it's really pretty on my um, hand and on my wrist when I swatched it but to use it in my water line it's not creamy enough um, to kind of go onto my eye and I tried it on my top line top line like um, on my eyelash line like where no one's a black eyeliner and it's still not even creamy enough to do that like I really don't like it for that even. so I don't know I guess it's does everybody hate Ulta eyeliners or is it just that color? Somebody let me know down below because this is the first eyeliner I've gotten that's Ulta brand. I don't know. The other thing is an Ulta lipstick and whoa, right in the sun. And this is number 218 and these don't have shade colors, which I thought was funny, but that's okay. And I don't think you can really see it in the camera. I don't think it's picking it up, but this has a crap ton of sparkles in it and it's really pretty. Um, really pretty in the tube and it shimmers a lot 
on even in the swatch but I don't think it'll pick up on the camera it's really pretty it's kind of it's a little more sheer than I would like um, it's not as opaque as different different lipsticks as other lipsticks that I have um, but I wanted to kind of try the Ulta brand because I have it and I don't know but it's really pretty and I like it I don't know but I'm kind of trying to work this into some more looks that I'm doing. Sorry, this one is blinding me if it's not blinding you. I'm going to try to work this into some more looks and post them so you guys can see them. And okay, cool. Next thing. So these are the last things that I got in this haul. And these are Ulta's matte lip creams. And I heard, um, I heard really good things about these. And I've never tried them. So I really wanted to, obviously, because YouTube makes me buy stuff. It's fine. And so I got two because again, Ulta was doing the buy one get one thing. And the first one, which is this person, person one, purple one, is in the shade Elusive. And they have a really long, like, doe foot applicator, which makes them really easy to apply. If you guys are wondering. And um, whilst I'm swatching this on my hand, these are really comfortable to wear. Really comfortable. Um, this is elusive right here in the corner. It's pretty. It dries real pretty. It dries matte, obviously, because it's a matte lip cream. And But they are really comfortable to wear as opposed to like the Makeup Revolution matte um, lip creams that I have. And that are really similar. And they also don't smell as bad, which is exciting. They don't smell like anything, really. Mm, like slightly like medicinal I guess I don't know not even I don't know they don't smell like anything to me um this is the color stirring right here on this side and again comfortable um they do wear off when you eat and drink so you have to reapply which kind of sucks but I guess the comfort level like feeling that your lips aren't about to crack in half is kind of worth it to have to reapply once in a while let me, let me know down below, you guys, if you've tried these or any of the stuff that I've mentioned and if you like them or hate them or whatever. And I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. I don't really know. I'm still kind of getting into the groove of, like, actually reviewing things. So if you think that I'm just babbling and you want me to revamp this whole thing, let me know down below. Tell me to get my life together or something. Let me know the stitches. <laughs> oh, and there's so much glitter on my hand. Where the heck did that come from? Oh, from the eyeliner. Anyway, sorry. I hope you guys are having a great day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And if you want to, before the next video, you can check me out on any social media and see all of the makeup looks that I've been doing or things that I've been eating, whatever you want to look at. On my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram, they're all linked down below. And you can also subscribe to my channel while you're down there and see my funky face more often. It does stuff like this all the time. And again, I hope you're having a great day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.